work got in the way. You know? It's okay. Okay, we are yeah. waiting on Sheriff Joe Lapinto there in Jefferson right. Parish. I, I guess we're getting a few more contingents uh, Moments leaders. away, yeah, from him speaking right there. But again, a collaborative response effort, parish to parish across hey, greater New Orleans. they're just waiting for WWL to set up his live shot. Right. Thank you, Greg LaRose, our, our boots on the ground right there. <laughs> just to kind of give you an idea of what they're doing right here right. Uh, in, in Lafitte at this moment. Um, they've been doing some water rescues. You can see some of the boats and some of the vehicles they are set up on either side of that roadway there. A lot of those just friends, family members trying to um, rescue people who were who were stuck down there in, in Lafitte who got trapped there in some of that storm surge that yeah. we've been talking about. Several feet of storm surge, uh, many of whom had to be rescued from uh, their rooftops. So, you know, the calls for help were were mounting and I know it was very concerning for um, uh, Tim Kerner Jr. Uh, from Jean Lafitte, you know, he was very concerned overnight about the sheer number of people who are still left over there. So let's take a listen now. I think they're about to begin. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you all for coming down here. Uh, we're down there in Lafitte launching uh, from this location, uh, trying to rescue whatever residents were left down in Lafitte. Uh, as you all know, the storm came through last night. We've got a lot of high water uh, that's really never been in those places before. In fact, I talked to one resident uh, who, who's lived down there and has never had water in their house and actually had eight feet last night. Uh, so we, we're doing those rescue operations. Uh, we had a count of, uh, you know, probably about 400 people uh, before the storm that we tried to uh, determine that was down there. Uh, we're out here with our boats, uh, obviously, you got people from the Cajun Navy coming to help. Uh, you know, we, we've got enough resources here on the ground. I want to let that people know, uh, making sure that, uh, you know, we have enough boats and trying to pick up. Some of the camp members are actually still in their camps uh, and above high ground. Uh, looks like most of the structures that are built up on stilts are still structurally intact. Uh, some had water in them, some don't. So we're trying to figure out those things and obviously bring everybody back to safety uh, that we can. Uh, hopefully this operation won't be a long term. This isn't a Hurricane Katrina where we're trying to evacuate the city of New Orleans. We're talking about, you know, a maximum maybe 400 uh, residents that stayed down, but I don't even think that number was that high at the end of the day. Uh, so we'll, we hopefully we'll be able to wrap this operation up pretty quick, but uh, thanks to everybody out here that's trying to help. Are you requesting everyone to leave that you guys find, or are you letting folks stay at their homes? You know, look, I, I let people make big boys' decisions, right? Uh, the truth of it is, is some of their, their houses and structures are built for this, and they're okay, and as long as they're okay and not needing assistance, uh, we're not going to force them and put them in a boat to bring them back. Uh, but w there are other people that obviously are, are not in that situation, so we're we're making sure we're getting all of them out first, and uh, we'll, we'll continue to do so. Have you found any injured or anybody affected uh, by this? You know, I, I've, I've heard some minor injuries and stuff. We have ambulances here, but I, I haven't heard anything major. Uh, nothing that's been reported to me, at least. Uh, you know, we will have, uh, you know, people on standby to be able to handle that if need be, but I haven't heard anything major. So it looks like there's just a concentration of uh, airboats going out there as opposed to flat bottom boats. Explain a little bit, just I guess, the how it's being a, a challenge to navigate. Well, you, you've got different, um, you know, different landscapes, right? I mean, we're launching from a road here, then we're going to have to go into the canal and then come out. So I mean, we're trying to get mission-ready boats that are able to handle it. Uh, we've probably turned away about four or five boats already that, you know, either too large of fiberglass fa of a flat boat that, I mean, a fiberglass boat that doesn't make sense. They're going to hit the cement and end up sinking themselves or a too small of a flat boat where I can't put people in it. And that's the mission is a rescue mission. Uh, so we've, we've allowed anybody that's launched that has a, what I call a mission ready boat uh, that, that can go down there and do part of the job. Uh, from what we're seeing right now, we don't have a ton of people that uh, are being required to be rescued. We we think we probably have enough boats in the water, but I'm not going to turn anybody away. If they came down here to try to help, we'll give them the opportunity. And if they happen to pick up one or two people, guess what? It's, it's easier for the rest of us. We've even seen a couple of vehicles uh, driving out of there, uh, obviously not advisable, but with communications being what they are. Hey, uh, you know, look, I know there's no communications down there because we've, we've we, you know, had to go down there and be able to get word to family members. So there's no communication down there. Uh, we're going to try to get some radios down there to the mayor who's down there and make sure that they can have some communications. Um, yeah, I saw a Pontiac just drive out a little while ago, which, you know, I may have to buy some of those for my next yeah. Iowa vehicle, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah. you know, still the water's deep by all means, and uh, it's not, not passable by car. So. What are you guys expecting once you 
once the water recedes finally, what are you expecting to see and the process is going to be like uh, moving forward? Well, it's repair. You know, I mean, let, let's face it. We've got a big parish here, but we'll always come together. We'll repair it. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll go back to uh, our way of life. You know, as, as somebody always tells me, some days you live in the water, some days the water lives on you. You know, and, and, and unfortunately, this is a situation where the water's living on them. But, uh, you know, they, they have a great quality of life down here, these fishing communities that are outside our levee protection district. Uh, you know, we want to make sure we can protect their livelihood and uh, a great great place to live uh, here in South Louisiana. You know, it makes it makes our jobs more di more difficult difficult sometimes, but uh, we understand it's important to our community here in Jefferson Parish and we'll make sure we'll be here for them. As, and far, I was as far as the levy, the levy was fine, correct? Uh, well, the outside major levy district that protects most of the metropolitan area was completely fine. Uh, Lafitte itself has a smaller levy, uh, levy district um, that protects them from the everyday tidal surges and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, that was overtopped, um, but I mean, you would expect that to happen in this type of storm, right? Uh, I don't know if it broke because the water's still high enough over that levy system to tell you if it broke or you know or anything but but the truth of it is is our major system uh, that protects most of the metropolitan area is fine you're yes stand, you're standing on our this is our furthest levee to the south so you're actually standing on it um, I'm everything beyond that is and I know I spoke to you just a moment ago when you told us that first bus of the rescue uh, rescued were going to that shelter. Yes. What was their emotions like? Were you able to speak with anybody? What what was the, what was that like? A lot of them were tired and fatigued, concerned, and I'm sure shocked by the volume of I'm I'm the parish's former homeland security director, and this is probably the fourth rescue operation of this nature that we've conducted in Lafitte in the last four uh, 30 years. The water has never ever been this high. I mean. This is historic flooding for the city of Lafitte. Were they relieved? Yes, many were relieved. They had their pets with them. They were just glad to get out of the water. Yeah, and look, let's be clear about the levees in, in Lowell Lafitte. Uh, these are tidal levees that protect up to seven feet, not 100-year protection in which the parish is protected as a whole. We're in that right now standing on the outside of the levee protective system. Those levees that were tidal levees for seven feet were compromised. The, the water was higher, the, the, the surge was deeper, than the levees themselves, so they were compromised, uh, never failed. We talked to some uh, folks who live not far away and were trying to go down there with their boats to check to see if uh, friends, family members were okay. There was some thought that they may be caught up in their attics. Are you hearing that's the case? Uh, no, I mean, we had some rescue calls last night, and uh, uh, Gene Lafitte uh, ended up with their fire department and police department made some rescues last night for different people. Um, we, look, we're going to go to house to house and go check it. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the reality of it is, is the, the water will continue to recede, uh, and we'll go house to house just like we did the other day uh, to check on people, make sure that they got out, and, and compare it to the list that we made the other day to see who's left there. Um, you know, most of the properties uh, that are going to be down there, uh, will, if we have to go into attic if they're in the attic and the water's still over I mean it's obviously gonna be uncomfortable today but uh, we're gonna get to them and the water will go down and we'll we'll do our best to make sure that we can get them out thank you sure no not a problem get your name, sure. I'm, I'm Sheriff Joseph Lopinto that's uh, Sheriff Joe Lopinto Jefferson Parish telling uh, not quite as many people as they initially thought uh, are stuck in Lafitte and some it sounds like are okay with staying there uh, lots of boats in the water to take out those who want to come out and since we've been out here two vehicles have driven up uh, you heard the sheriff say uh, it's like a small um, Pontiac SUV the other uh, a, a Dodge 300 just a really low profile vehicle I, I talked to uh, the man behind that wheel and he said that uh, he had water up to his chest and it was still rising when he left uh, and we should get some pictures of that later on that we'll have to show you uh, so you know a lot more optimistic at least I think than where we were when we arrived here this morning in regards to the number of people that were caught down there and according to the sheriff you know they weren't dealing with anyone in uh, acute medical distress that would have to you know be brought out right away and there's still a Jefferson Transit bus uh, to bring people up to a shelter uh, we are just seeing a, a few people here and there uh, these efforts are still very much active so we'll stay out here and bring you the latest we'll go back to the studio to you guys.